Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today I want to talk about some of the stuff that's going to be upcoming or featured on the channel in short order. Now, as most of you know, I've been following my channel with my work schedule. Sometimes it can be difficult for me to uh, dedicate the time that I really need to, but I'm going to try to make a more concerted effort to uh, put out some very high quality reviews for you guys. So for the last few months, I've had a lot of people that have requested that I do uh, EDC flashlights as reviews. Um, I've kind of leaned away from it, but with enough requests, I've decided to try my hand at it. So I invested some of my own money in a couple of different brands. Some uh, Phoenix is one that I'm very, very familiar with. In fact, uh, the Phoenix PD36R is, is my EDC flashlight for work. So I'm pretty familiar with them. I've been very happy with that company. I've also got some new Olights, uh, which seem to be incredibly popular. The uh, Olight M2R Pro Warrior, as well as the brand new Olight Warrior Mini, which seems to be an incredibly popular EDC flashlight that has just recently come out. Now, personally, I am also looking for something of a flashlight that wouldn't necessarily be EDC. It'd be more of a vehicle flashlight, something with some pretty decent features, high capacity. Uh, I just may find a flashlight by doing these reviews that, that I like better than the Phoenix PD36R. I really don't know. I'm going to try to go into it as open-minded as possible. Now, also over the last few months, I've purchased a lot of different lighters uh, and fire starting equipment. So we've got stuff like the Lighter Bro, which is a very cheap option. It's a little multi-tool that works with your Bic lighter. We've got some fire starting emergency fire kits from Zippo. Uh, Zippo hand warmer is something I've always wanted to try out. That is an especially useful tool for people who work outside or if you are uh, you know, an outdoor enthusiast as well, if you're hunting, if you're camping, or if you're just bushcraft. Zippo hand warmers can be a very, very uh, important tool to have with you as well as some lighters that I've never tried before. So we have the Douglas Field L and we have the Emco lighter. Uh, these are lighters that seem to be very, very popular, ones that I haven't personally tried, but I am looking forward to trying them out. Now, we're also going to be looking at some more micro ratchets uh, for EDC carry. Uh, some that I've, not all of them shown here, uh, but a few more that I have that we're going to be going through to try to find what I personally would think would be one of the better uh, EDC ratchet style drivers. So that we're going to be looking at several of those in upcoming videos as well. We're also going to be looking a little closer at some of my hand tools, uh, especially from products uh, from Knipix, uh, Klein. We've got uh, a new pair of, of uh, trade shears, utility shears that I picked up uh, by Wiss or, or Wiss by Crescent, I guess it is now. And one of the tools that are one of the products that uh, I haven't talked about yet, but I really like and get, and get quite a bit of use out of in specialty applications are the Vampire plier sets. Uh, I've actually got a full set of these. This is just a couple of them, but we're going to be going through some of these other hand tools as well. Another item that I'm really happy to share with you guys in coming videos is going to be this Seeky Edge manicure set. Now this is made in Japan. It's a little on the high side, but it's one of those items that if you purchase it once, you spend, spend the money one time, I really think it holds its value over buying cheaper stuff because the quality is just second to none. It really is. It's, it's a fantastic set that I've been incredibly happy with. Now one of the things that this channel was founded on was doing reviews on multi-tools and I have no intention of straying away from that. Uh, I'm a firm believer in everybody having some type of multi-tool on them, whether that be a two-layer Victorinox knife or something like this Leatherman Mutt or what I carry, the Leatherman Surge or one of the great Victorinox tools. There's products from Sog and Gerber and there's other manufacturers that we'll be looking at as well. So fear not, we will not be straying away from, from uh, multi-tools as well. Also this week, it's time to give away the Leatherman Mutt. In the review of the Leatherman Mutt that I did, I said that once it reached 10,000 views, we're going to be giving it away to one of our U.S. service members. Well, here in the last few days, it has crossed 10,000 views. And so look forward this week, we're going to be choosing some, a U.S. service member to give away the Leatherman Mutt to. Hopefully, it'll make their day just a little bit brighter. So these are just a few of the items that I have upcoming on the channel. Uh, now, when it comes to flashlights, I've kind of been pretty excited about getting into some of these flashlights because... 
honestly, I've been more, I really haven't strayed away from Phoenix. And I know there's a lot of different manufacturers out there, dozens and dozens of manufacturers out there that produce some pretty quality stuff. So I'm interested to get into some other brands. So if you have some suggestions or if there's a particular model of flashlight that you would like to see reviewed here on the channel, just uh, leave it in the comments below. We get enough people interested in, the, in any one particular one or any one particular brand. I will certainly try to start uh, acquiring some of those brands so we can review them here on the channel. Now, obviously when you start talking in flashlights and other in hand tools, some of that stuff can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. So it may take me a little bit to get the funds together in order to uh, get those items purchased. But if you'll bear with me, we'll definitely try to get them listed here on the channel. So yeah, I also want to want to get more into uh, fabrication tips and tricks. Uh, it, for me, that's a big part of uh, trying to teach people some of the things that I've learned over the years and try to maybe pass that on to the new guys that are getting into the trades. I think that's pretty important. Uh, also, when it comes to knot time, which my daughter actually loves, so we're going to try to get a little bit more involved in some of the knots that uh, finding your knowing your way around a rope in construction in the blue collar world is in, incredibly important in my opinion. So again, these are just a few of the items that we're looking for, uh, that you'll be looking for in uh, upcoming videos. Any suggestions you may have, put them in the comments below. I appreciate everybody's views and everybody's support, and I will talk to you in the next one.